In today's video, we'll see how to upgrade Windows 11 to 2 H2 version from Windows Update option, the steps for downloading and installing, how long it will take, how much data will be downloaded from the internet, and what important features will be available after installing this significant OS update. So let's crack the windows. Windows 11 version 22H2 is the first big OS update for Microsoft's latest OS rolling out now. Version 22H2 is available now as a free update for all Windows 11 eligible users. Go to search and type Windows Update. Check for updates. If your device is eligible, you will see notification like this. Just click on download. However, Microsoft has noted that the team has made changes to this release, reducing download size by around 450 MB. If you plan to upgrade using ISO or other tools, the file size is around 5.2 GB. If you are using the Windows Update approach to upgrade, the installation should take around 50 to 60 minutes. However, it's also depend on your internet connection and hardware configuration. As my current download speed is around 45 Mbps, I am assuming it will take approx 15 to 20 minutes on downloading and further 20 minutes in installation. I had made a separate video on how to install Windows 11 latest version from USB. If you have to upgrade from pen drive on a new machine, please check out that video. Link is in the i button and description below. Downloading is done and it's time now to restart the machine. Its focus is on continued polish OS productivity enhancements and improvements for tablet users. Machine has restarted again. It's restarted two times while installation. So it's open now. Let's check the version first. Start system and here is the version 22H2 so it's done now let's check what major changes done in my system that microsoft has published for this version first important feature is app folders in start menu as per the microsoft in this version of windows 11 app folders added in the start menu let's open the start menu Click and hold on the first app that we want to add to a folder. Drag the app icon to the second app we want to add to the folder and drop it on top. The folder will be created automatically with both the apps inside. We can also add more apps in this folder. Let's change the folder name. Click the folder to open it. Click on edit name field and enter the folder title you want to use. These are simple to create and really helpful for keeping app organized and accessible. We can easily move apps out of the folders and into the pinned apps list. Folders only remain if there are two or more apps inside. Drag the app icon out of the folder boundary and onto the pinned apps list. If removing an app leaves only one app remaining in the folder, the remaining app will also be moved out of the folder. Along with the ability to create folders, the start menu also got some new layout options in 22H2 update. We can find the new layout options in settings, personalization, start. You can choose from three different layouts, more pins, default layout or more recommendations. Folders that you have created in the start menu will be treated like individual pinned apps. This is my pinned area and that's recommended area drag and drop in taskbar. The taskbar has also been upgraded with the restoration of drag and drop option, allowing us to paste files by dragging them to taskbar. Windows 11 initial release doesn't have this feature. There was a lot of demand for this feature and finally Microsoft added it in the new update. Now we have tab file explorer. When we'll open the file explorer, it will open with the default home tab now you can add new tabs, switch between the open tabs and close tabs, just like Chrome or Edge browser. If you still don't have tab feature after update, download it from Microsoft Store. 
go to Microsoft Store and search for File Apps. It's free and very powerful feature for multitasking. Open File App. Here you can see Tab feature. Open Drive C in New Tab. Here it's Home and here Drive C. To keep it as default, click here on Settings, Experimental, Set Files as Default File Manager. Avoid turning on this folder size option as it may increase CPU usage. I'll check it and share my experience in my next video. So still if you have not subscribed my channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Now add new tabs to file explorer, switch between explorer tabs, rearrange, open tabs, all we can do now. Update in Snap Layout feature. This update will be very helpful to you if you work with numerous applications at once. Using the mouse and keyboard, you may quickly and accurately snap windows together or to each corner. The new Snap Layout drop-down menu can now be accessed by dragging a window to the top border of the screen. From there, you can drop the window into the desired zone. Now open another window and work on 2, 3 or 4 windows simultaneously. Tutu H2 update has also a new Windows Spotlight feature for daily refreshing and informative wallpaper lovers. Go to Settings, Personalization, Background and choose Windows Spotlight. This is my current Windows 11 default background. This is my new background for today. Now here is the icing on the cake. There is a new icon appearing on the top right corner. On right clicking it, we have an option of learn about this picture. On clicking it, we will redirect to the internet regarding information about that picture. If you like or dislike this picture, Windows will suggest background wallpaper accordingly in future. Every day when you open your laptop, you will have a brand new energetic and refreshing image in front of you. A powerful and free video editor is now a part of Windows 11 to 2 h 2 upgrade. Go to search and type Flipchamp. Here is the new window. Just log in with your Microsoft or Google account. Here is the interface. Video editor comes with all of the features required to create a great videos without any editing experience. That's all for today's video. If you have not subscribed the channel yet, click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon for latest updates. See you soon. Goodbye.